Okay, today I'm going to do um, a couple videos for you. The first one I'm going to title Saving Your Septic. And you're going to have to bear with me because I'm guessing this isn't going to be the easiest one to film. But, you know, everything has its purpose and time. So, first I'm going to try to get a good prop position for showing you a toilet and uh, showing you how to save your septic uh, in a really easy step without having to buy expensive things like RID. Um, this takes a little longer to work, but uh, it's natural, and if you do it once a month, you won't have trouble if you're septic. So, here we go. Now, there is a toilet. Now, I am able to prop this up in just the right way and with a little bit of effort I should be able to at least show you a simple procedure now things you're going to need number one a pair of good scissors Number two, a fast-rising, highly active baker's yeast. Now, the reason why I know this works is because I've known old-timers that's been doing this since before there were sewers, uh, at least in the area where I grew up. So... Let's just say that this method is well and tested. You take the scissors. And put them in your hand. Shake the pack so the yeast goes down to the end. Cut the end that you were holding. Down far enough that you don't have to worry about opening the pack. There it is, it's open. You just drop it right into your toilet. Now, one might think and might be right that one pack's enough, but here goes pack number two. I never question somebody that's been doing something for a long, long time. So here we go, shaking pack number three, so I can show you once again how to shake it down. Cutting the package. Opening the package. And if you can get a look at that, it's real simple yeast. It's all natural, so you're not putting chemicals down your... Uh, toilet and into your septic because what a lot of people don't realize is a lot of septics have leach fields. Leach fields allow things to leach back into your soil around your house. So if you have a septic and a well and you overfill your septic and it's full of chemicals instead of baker's yeast, uh, probably a bad thing. So try not to flush chemicals down your toilet. Um, even in the cities and stuff like that, medicines and chemicals should never be flushed on the toilet. But here goes pack number three. Now, yeast and rid alike have to activate. So, I'm just going to let it sit here for a minute while I go get another ingredient the secret ingredient that helps activate the yeast.
so while you were enjoying this very unentertaining video picture I went to go get the other ingredient just like if you were making alcoholic beverages or something else you got to have sugar to activate your yeast this is just natural sugar now you let that stand for half an hour, 45 minutes, whatever, and while we're at it, I need to go ahead and clean and wipe, which is kind of embarrassing, but I've got one hand, and hopefully y'all will forgive me for not doing the best job before the video, but that so is nature, so is life. Um, so... The toilet paper, not the best thing to put down the drain either, but in modern society, it's what we use. Try to buy post-consumer recycled products and uh, limit your amount of use. But anyhow, so the yeast is in there and it doesn't matter really if it's activating in your bowl or if it's activating down your drain but this is a lot less expensive than if you had purchased a uh, industrial strength septic activating agent for eating the waste inside your septic so that being said we flush now if that yeast doesn't go down all the way the first time, don't worry about it. It's natural. It will um, activate in the bowl. And the other stuff's already in the septic. Try to limit your water consumption. You can do this while there's waste in the toilet, but for videoing purposes, I figured that it would be a lot nicer not to have a waste-filled toilet for the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I'm getting ready to do another one. So if you would, um, please uh, pay attention. This is the last day of November. This is the last day of No Shave November. If you look, I didn't cheat. Now my hair doesn't look long, but that's because on the 26th of October, before I decided to start videoing, I cut off all my hair and my beard. Not the eyebrows. I'm going to keep those. So, in a little bit, I'm doing another video for... No Shave November, which is going to be a little interesting because I have my cast still. And I'm going to have it for a while. So I have to shave left-handed. My next video will be a little bit noisy until I get to the actual shaving part because I'm going to use clippers as much as possible to make this easy. But I hope you stick around or... Come back and watch the next video, and I hope that this video, giving you a look into how to save some money and protect your septic, was beneficial. Have a nice day.